Welcome to Winter Gotham Wednesdays. Today I'm going to show you something really cool. These are two 3D printed metal parts for the Marble Machine X. They will sit on the bass guitar and guide the marbles to hit the strings correctly. Now I'm going to try to polish these parts. I never worked with 3D printed metal. Don't know what to expect, but I'm gonna try to make them shine. I started out using the disc sander, but I couldn't access all areas and I couldn't also see the immediate result. So I went over to using a flap disc instead. I'm just checking with the sandpaper and I can still see some divots here, so I need to go a little bit lower. So around these legs it's easy to access with the angle grinder. But around the other pair of legs it's much tighter, so instead I'm using my dentist tool. Now I can reach in there with the angle grinder. So this is how it looks after the angle grinder. So now I'm gonna start to sand this. So this is sandpaper for wood and metal. And I'm gonna start with 80. So I'm using this tool to get the dings out. You see here there's a little divot. So I spent a lot of time with 120 sandpaper to get all the divots out. Now I'm moving up to a finer 240 grit. That's starting to look polished. So 1000 grit and now this polished brush. Now a softer polished brush with a compound. I'm just improvising here. I never polished metal in my life actually. So I'm using Brasso and 1000 grit sandpaper. I'm going to try this mini buffing wheel. Doesn't get any better. I'm gonna try a little more of the Brasso and a microfiber and just be at it for some time. I think I've been bitten by the metal polish bug because now I think this looks awful. <laughs> Maybe I have to start going in circles. That's improving. Now I see my own reflection. So I'm not adding a lot of pressure now. So just as I was getting closer to a mirror finish, I dropped the piece and this leg broke right off. So the leg broke off exactly in a way like a normal 3D print would have broken off like in layers. I wouldn't actually blame the 3D printing process here. I would actually say that the design is a little bit too optimistic in this case. Anyway, this gives us a fun opportunity to see if I can TIG weld this. I have no clue what's going to happen, but I'm going to try. TIG welding a 3D print. We're living in the future. <laughs> wow, it's welding. Nice, <laughs> nice. I started to work on the discoloration with Brasso on a worn out thousand grit sandpaper. And the discoloration it seems to be really thin, so it comes off pretty quickly. Now I'm trying to go in circles rather than straight lines. Well, going in circles rather than straight lines is a theme for the whole Marble Machine X project, so yeah. This part is getting thumbnail ready. I do the last polishing inside Lightroom. <laughs> Washing up liquid, so degreaser, and then I'm not going to touch the surface. Check out this tree. So this tree is actually a strawberry tree. 
This is a strawberry. <laughs> it's called a strawberry tree. You can eat it. Four out of 10. This mirror polish is complete, but we have a super cool idea for a second type of polish, very unique to 3D printed parts. Phil calls this new polish ID for Ding by Design. Let's check out how that can look. So I've done a first pass. Now I'm gonna move over to sandpaper and do a high polish on all the top surfaces. I think this has potential to look really crazy cool. So this is the look after 120 sandpaper. 240, 800, so this is 1000 grit dry, so that wiped out the spray paint. If you use a real metal blackening method like oxide or something, I think you can polish without losing the contrast. Spray paint is not the correct thing. Get some more black into all the diverts, then I think we can swipe it off, yes. This method is so forgiving, it takes so much less time and any little dings that you didn't sand away will just look okay because they are masked by this whole imperfect perfection. So my favorite look is actually the ding by design. So a huge thanks to Desktop Metal for helping out and printing these parts for the Marble Machine X. Check out the Desktop Metal YouTube channel and desktopmetal.com to understand more about how these cool prints are being made. Also, a special thanks to Jesse from the Now You Know YouTube channel who initiated this collaboration. Thanks to Dr. Phil from the MMX team and Wake Forest University for designing these. And I can't wait putting them on the actual bass guitar that Carlos from Anjuda Guitars is building right now. Thanks to all Vintagatan backers who are crowdfunding these projects through YouTube memberships and Patreon. There's so many new people coming in each week. I can't say how lucky I am to have this kind of support. And most of all, thanks to you for watching. I learned a lot today. I didn't know I could TIG weld these prints and I didn't know how they would turn out when you polish them. Turns out awesome. Okay, till next time, see you, bye.